Hey, what's up guys? Doubleksir again. Welcome back to Combat Mission Final Blitzkrieg. That's right, we're playing the latest installment in the Combat Mission series. I am super excited. This game was kindly provided to me by uh, Christopher, the lead developer and game designer over at Battlefront.com for the Combat Mission series. Uh, Battlefront.com has a few different sort of franchises um, under the... the um, under its name, rather, and Combat Mission is a series. There's Combat Mission Shock Force, which was uh, available a long time ago. I actually played Combat Mission Shock Force um, long before I ever started playing Battle for Normandy and Black Sea. Um, and they also have Combat Mission Afghanistan. There's also a Red Thunder in Fortress Italy, which uh, is sort of like Combat Mission Battle for Normandy, but obviously with a focus on the Eastern Front and uh, the, the uh, Italian campaign there. Um, so, uh, let's try out Final Blitzkrieg. Obviously, this is um, going to take place on the Western Front in, I believe, uh, where is the... Uh, Arden, France, Germany, and Holland. So, it's towards the end of the war, essentially. You even have 1945 available. Only the month of January, though, and some of the heavy fighting that went on there towards the end. So, mainly, there's going to be the Battle of Bulge, uh, Bastogne, and all that stuff. So, I'm super excited for it. Um, this means we can have some pretty late war stuff going, uh, which is exciting. But, for this battle, we're going to do a snowy November, I think. Um, daylight, day, clear. I mean, there's so many different daylight settings and weather conditions. I feel like we're not going to play around so much with the, the, this in particular. I've tried dusk before. You can't see anything. Night is even darker. Dawn, I imagine, being a little nicer, though, than dusk. Uh, the weather, on the other hand, is interesting. Light snow. Awesome. But I want this to be a clear, chilly October. A chilly October, but not maybe so snowy. We'll do a 30-minute small battle just to get everyone in the right mood. We'll do a meeting engagement. Um, I'll be playing as the US this time around. We're going up against the German army in, uh, say, well, the Ardennes, I guess. That, that would be nice. Um, uh, we could do France. We could do Germany even, but that wouldn't really suit at all. I think Germany would be better towards the end of the war, 1945-ish, December, of course. Of course, there's Holland too, but we'll just go with the standard art, and I think that's where it's focused around. The Germans will pick their own stuff. Uh, we're doing mix and mix. So let's go ahead and select the map. Now, oh, by the way, there's a, another thing that I've noticed. Uh, I could have missed this in the previous Comet Mission games, but for some reason I'm uh, I'm lifting this up right now. Uh, there's a ground condition here. Very dry, dry, damp, wet, muddy, patchy snow, light snow, snow, deep snow, uh, which is all going to impact the infantry, the stamina, the vehicles, and everything, uh, which is really cool. We're going to go with dry right now because it's going to be sort of a dry November here. Uh, 1944. Maybe November was really snowy, though. I'm not entirely sure what the weather forecast was for 1944. Uh, let's go with uh, October to be safe there on the realistic aspects. Um, everything else remains, of course. Um, but that's cool. I haven't noticed ground condition before, but I could have just missed it in, in Black, uh, Black Sea and uh, Battle for Normandy. So I want kind of an open map. Uh, not too crazy. We're going to sort of just get the first taste of battle here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. This is really interesting, though, because I love uh, the, the landscape. Look at this. Blue set up northwest, red set up southeast. There are two major VPs and one minor VP. Best play for an hour. Note, turn landmarks landmarks on, which is Alt-L. Uh, that's probably just a HUD option, which is cool. This is suitable for an hour. We've got 30 minutes, so let's do something that isn't... Uh, all too crazy. This one looks cool. This one's suitable for 30 minutes. Uh, map size, 656 by 608. Um, two major VPs, best by 30 minutes. Looks cool. Looks a little, you know, maybe this could be Holland or France. Who knows? But we, we selected our dens, but that shouldn't really matter too much. Uh, we're going to play as, be playing as the US. Uh, skills should be elite now that we've, uh, we've, we started at Veteran, I think, a long time ago. Then we started playing Warrior, and now we realized Elite is probably what we should be playing on. Maybe even more than that, who knows. Uh, so I'm going to get an Infantry Battalion, and then we're going to get a bunch of tanks. Uh, so it's going to be like Infantry Battalion supported by a bunch of tanks. It's going to be super cool. Uh, look at these companies of riflemen. Look at this, they got bazookas in them. Uh, that's crazy. We've got a weapons platoon here with machine gun and mortars. Which is interesting. I want to be fast and rapid, though, so we're going to skip the mortar section. Even though it doesn't cost a lot at all, we are going to skip it. Uh, we're even going to skip the entire 4th platoon there, just to save some money. Um, 
We got the anti-tank platoon, which is good to have, but we're gonna put that money on tanks instead. Pioneer platoon, um, expensive lads. Probably have flamethrowers. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe not. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure if that was standard for an infantry battalion. I'm pretty sure the engineer battalion would have that instead. Uh, yeah, they have flamethrower sections in the engineer company. But anyway, um, that's A company. That's B company. C company. And D company, which is entirely we uh, weapons company, which is a lot of mortars and stuff like that. And a lot of machine gun. Look at that. They've got a jeeps for the heavy machine gun, MG Ammo Bears, and two jeeps to go with that. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's some heavy stuff. We're going to skip that too to save money. We're going to save a lot by disabling that company. And then we're going to cut down on B and C company. So we're going to have A company. We're going to have lots of just lots of classic rifleman squads here. Uh, and now to go with 1st Battalion, let's get some special uh, single vehicles, of course, and let's get some tanks here. We need some medium tanks. I'm thinking the M4A3. It's got a lot of rarity going on there, though, which I'm not entirely sure I like this. This one here, medium tank, M4A3, 75. Doesn't cost anything in rarity points, which is good because we don't have all too many to spend. Got 1,818 rarity points to spend, so that's two of those. Now let's get two of the 76er, 76er. A priest would be nice. Uh, tank destroyer. Let's get a tank destroyer. Let's get an M10. And let's cut down on something else. What can we cut down on? Operations team? Yeah, fine. Might as well even cut down on the XO team for the headquarters team. Actually, let's keep that there. It's cool to have. Uh, so this is going to be like armor, tank destroyer, the infantry. Kind of basic, straight on, you know, tanks and infantry. I thought we'd just get that first taste of, of combat simple and uh, straightforward with a lot of firepower this is a small uh setup if medium we could have had way more not to even mention large or huge which should probably just be crazy and this is a beautiful map uh, the colors are fantastic uh, what does alt l do oh it turns on landmarks now that's off now that's on so there i guess there aren't really any specific landmarks here oh man look at this map it would be cool to have a uh this is a massive hill cool to have a uh, machine gun team set up here on mortar or something. So now I kind of kind of regret not bringing that weaponry to the field. But uh, uh, I think our tanks can do some range down some nice things here. I think we're going to bring everything to the right, though. So I'm super excited. Let's get Battalion HQ, sir. Put you down there. And let's enjoy the new uniforms pretty soon. Uh, we got our 76ers. Uh, that's a 75. That's a 75. We got two 75s. I think we have three 75s. No, we got... That's an M10. 276ers. Now I want to do some. I want to do some uh, mounted infantry here. Uh, so let's get first platoon. Listen up. First platoon will be riding into battle. First platoon will also bring hmm, first battalion HQ. I'm not entirely sure if I like the fact that they're. Hmm. Maybe first platoon HQ will be on the ground, and we'll leave this 76 here for for anyone else. Can we put? We can't put squads on this M10 here. Can't put another one though. So let's just do third squad. We'll go with the platoon HQ, and then we'll have second platoon, which is right here. They will have first, third squad will be with them, and second squad and first squad. That's how we're doing it. So that's that's very straightforward, very clean. Uh, this is an entire A Company HQ. We'll remain here with Battalion HQ. This is 3rd Platoon HQ, sir. What is this? Is this the XO team? Yes, it is the XO team. They will also remain there. So to start, you guys are going to be moving up left. Cool stuff, huh? Really cool. So excited for this. Uh, medium tanks. There's a road here that we could use. I'm going to actually send you out to do a little tank hunting here on the side. Right there you're going to sit. And we're going to send these guys fairly quickly down to this main road. Because we want to be cinematic and all epic about this, right? Don't we? Bring it up there. We're going to be in cover from the right hill once we get there. Honestly, I don't think we even need to do these kind of waypoints that says uh, 
as detailed as I am because I think the AI kind of automatically chooses to to uh, the the best road, which is, or the best fastest way there, which is by by the best road, I presume. Uh, we need to bring these guys. I might just bring these guys on the left flank instead of the 76ers. 76ers. It's probably not what they would be nicknamed. Uh, quickly there. Who's this? Second squad from second platoon. First squad from second platoon. So that means second platoon and second platoon. Third squad is coming with these guys. Huh? How classic, huh? Move you guys up that way. Slow ball you guys up this way. Okay, we ready? Let's move, let's move! Mounted infantry heading out, sir. This is badass, dude. So cool. Getting some screenshots. I love the uniforms. Look at these trench coats and great coats and all that. Can't wait for some of the mods to show up for this. I believe we're running this without a sound mod right now. Put you right here where he'll be in cover on the entire left side there. Give him a spotter. What's this? First platoon HQ. Might as well send those geezers up and have a little cover back in the forest. A company HQ. Italian HQ. Set up spotting right here, huh? Isn't that great? This is a fantastic hill. Wouldn't want to trade it for anything. Germans are on the way down the road, sir. We got infantry supported by armor. Ooh, and we have German. Holy shit. We've been hit, we've been hit. See that target back there? Turn some fire. There we go. Pouring on him, sir. Pouring on him, sir. We got a cash lead down here. Taking fire. Okay, you're going to fucking floor it to that village because we need to get our guys there. You're going to floor it there, too. We need to get everyone there to get that major VP. So our... our oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Returning fire. My oh, infantry's getting shot at here. Get out, get out, get out. Come on, boys. Provide some fire support with these uh, 76s, huh? There we go. Yeah, they got a uh, MG42s pinning us right now. Let's return on him, boys. Can we put some 50s on him? Those 50s are probably meant for uh, people mounted on the tanks, actually, as a matter of fact. This squad is entirely unhurt, which is amazing. Move, move, move! You gotta go, goddammit. Oh shit, this entire squad's just getting destroyed. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Running that guy that way. This squad is out here. Shit. They're currently not under fire, at least. Four casualties. That is not acceptable, but that's the price we have to pay to salt down this village. Then we're going to try and keep Jerry off South Road. Second squad, it's time to go to war. First platoon HQ is moving up. We got our boys down there. We got to bloody well be close to them. Just try and get your way down here. I know you're taking casualties, and I know you guys are pinned. Let's see if we can reverse this bastard right here and provide some covering fire. There we go. Jaisat! 
Los geht's. Oh, look at that. Is that a panther? It is. Oh man, oh man, oh man. That's a panther, that's a panther. Boom, 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 boom. 76 down, 76 down. I don't know why he was facing that direction. There we go, I think we got the panther. We got the panther. Where's this? Who's this is a uh, third platoon. Just providing covering fire from the forest. Much appreciated. What is this? Second platoon HQ. We need to go down there. We're taking a lot of casualties up here. That panther's taken out though, which is good. We got our two Shermans alive down there in the center. Uh, tank destroy moving up too to provide covering fire. They got more tanks though. I think we can, we're going to hide him right by the crest of this hill. For now. Come on, let's go, boys. We're going to link up with the rest of our squad down there. These guys are still making their way to the building. Double time it, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. German armor coming down there. We can't see it. There's no line of sight. But if he does come across down this road here, we're going to shell him. We're going to send our entire squad into this building here. Level 2. Thank you. And then we're going to get our armored up on this side. Provide some covering fire. There we go. How's it looking over here? It's a bit of a nightmare scene here. This uh, 76 is still good. Second platoon. Casualties. But still in there. Call these guys up behind the Sherman. Second platoon HQ. Let's pop smoke. We need to mount up and head down. I don't know how possible that is, though. Can probably pick them all up. I'm going to head down and provide covering fire for second platoon HQ and one of their squads back here. Yeah, that Sherman took out the, uh, the the flak vehicle that came down here, like the half track. That's not actually a half track. That's a old track, as far as I'm concerned. Not a wheel there. Looking very cool. Never seen this thing before. I'm sure, it's one of those late war vehicles. I've seen similarities of it, but yeah, that's about it. Here's that knocked out Panther. The 76 took it out. Um, a lot of flak vehicles could be up against the. Uh, an anti-air company or something like that. Are these guys Luftwaffe? Might be, actually. They have that interesting uh, MG42 with a uh, drum mag. Or like a round mag on the side. So that's probably Luftwaffe weaponry, seeing as they wouldn't drop with belts of ammunition, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's just try and get up on this vehicle and get the hell out of here. Can we? Mortars or something like that. Something nasty. Oh, shit, we're taking cash. He's trying to get on. This is not a good idea. 
Are you guys gonna commit to it? Getting you guys out of dodge here. Okay, let's just go, let's go, let's go. Waiting for that last guy to get up. Oh, actually, never mind. They're gonna pull out. We're gonna leave the Sherman here for a while then. It's a lot of German infantry coming down, so I understand why they're suppressed and pinned. Got the tank destroyer coming up. Lots of German infantry there coming down the hill on the right side. That's a lot of German infantry coming down the hill. Look at that, that's an awesome scene, huh? What do you guys think? Fallouts! Stellung bleiben! That's awesome. Yeah, we have our entire... Uh, we have a whole platoon providing covering fire. From here. These guys are unhurt, though. So that is all third platoon. Third platoon's all fine. So why don't we assault down? We gotta get out of here. We gotta put this infantry to use. Third platoon's actually fine. Even the HQ is fine. Starting to take casualties out. We're gonna put them up behind uh, this this Sherman. Actually, we're gonna pull them back. Oh fuck! Well, I jinxed it. First squad down there, taking casualties. They're pinned entirely. Okay, let's pull these guys back. Tactical retreat. Let's go. Pull our assets back. Well, at least we got cover back here, and the M10 is providing fire support. That's all good. This building is still occupied by the second squad. I think I'm going to move them out to just the side the corner of this building here. We're going to reverse our tank just a bit. We got a good position down here. I'm a bit worried about what's uh, starting to drop in this forest line now. Oh, oh, that is dangerous. I'm so glad we... Oh, we pulled out in the nick of time. This squad here is, for some still reason, still crawling about. It could be that I gave a big order around. Yeah, the second platoon is by far probably taking the most casualties right now. First squad, second squad, all that stuff. First squad's down four men. Third squad's down... Uh, Four men, two. Second squad is, is pretty much... They've got a lot of wounded. They're panicking. All pretty much just dead in the forest line. Picked off, so that's pretty pretty damn gnarly. Pretty nasty. Uh, e Company HQ and the rest of our staff is actually remaining quite calm up here in the forest. Staying down. Taking fire now, though, on the other hand. <laughs> but I have confidence that they'll be out of the majority of fire. They're not going to be the main target right now. Taking the fire here. We're going to back up and cover them. But well, we want to link up the platoon, uh, first platoon HQ, and uh, three armored, uh, three tanks, and the uh, two uh, infantry squads down here. This will be a good position. Oh, nice hit there from the Sherman, picking up some German infantry crossing the road. I think we got this under lockdown. There's 16 more minutes left of this current engagement, but we're just being shelled like crazy now by Jerry. I don't like it one bit. Fuck. So we're pulling every single squad we have out of here. We've lost this high ground, and it's just been a crazy fight. This tank is still okay. Taking some suppressive fire. We're covering some of the infantry down here right now. It's currently pinned. They can't move. Second platoon is pretty much immobilized. And this tank is just going to have to remain here to, to provide some covering fire. Sooner or later we're going to have to pull it out though. I don't want to keep the asset down here in that position. But it's pretty good. It's got it's got coverage of uh, a lot of the area here. I'm just worried that there might be more tanks sneaking around somewhere. Still though, a lot of German infantry coming in. Which has me quite worried that we'll be overthrown and overwhelmed. Try and 
Trying to hit anything we can over here right now. Let's uh, try and take this building. Oh shit. MG gunner opening fire on infantry squad. I knew that was going to be a pretty bad position to enter the building. I didn't know the door was located on that side, but there we go. Obviously that's kind of makes sense seeing as the road goes down the center. Don't want to bring my tank too forward. If there's a uh, German infantry in the forest, they're going to panzer faust that. I'm sure they'll have AT weaponry. So we want to try and keep that at range. Perfect. This tank is covering the squad. That's about everything it can do right now. I'd say it's time we assault down to this hedge row down there. And this tank is, of course, going to carry us there. The four men at a time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Still being shelled up here. Well, we'll have to take a look at casualties later, but it's so far... Not so good, considering all the fire we've been taking. Look at that force line. This is our a position I thought was going to work in our favor, but it's a position where we ultimately ended up taking probably the most casualties we will ever take this battle. Uh, third platoon is a pretty okay, though. Uh, four casualties. Uh, not good at all, actually. We don't like casualties in any shape or form. But it's, uh, it's acceptable right now. And we're going to send this platoon down in full force to link up and storm the center. First squad, second squad... Tank crew. <laughs> well, there. That's acceptable. This is all part of second platoon. Uh, I want you guys to try and actually link up with your former squad down here. Hopefully, that's not too much to ask for. We're going to be assaulting. You're going to have a lot of. You don't have too many assets remaining, but try and bring them down here to the Sherman, and we'll try and uh, try and put you to use. We can't have you guys loitering around right now. They got a bit of rest. That's about it. That's all I can give them. Okay, we made it here. Perfect. BAR set down, ready to fire. Infantry behind the hedgehog. We are good. We pulled out of the building, though. We took uh, another two casualties in here. Which isn't good at all. But we, that doesn't mean we can leave cover like that. Let's get in this building instead. Third squad survived, sir. Next target's gonna be to assault up here. Tank's gonna be moving up too. Are we looking to assault the South Road Junction? I think we are, sir. I don't think we have much of an, uh, any choice right now. Still being shelled back there. Look at that entire third platoon coming in. 30 guys moving in right now. I'm waiting for these guys. First battalion HQ, Lieutenant Colonel. Just uh, not enjoying the battle, but overlooking the battle from the hill up here. A Company HQ, Captain, Captain Miller. Oh man. Oh, they still got MGs down there firing up. Could be lift off the ground infantry or falcon jaggers. I just zoomed in. How do I zoom out? I have like a zoomed in camera right now. Do you feel that too? That it's like zoomed in? There we go. It's X, which is really cool because you can do like really cinematic, cinematic shots. With oh, he was shot. Nice capture there. <laughs> Perfect. That's how I like it right now. This is really handy. Thank you, game, for giving me the pleasure of experiencing that. This is the squad with only two guys remaining. They are actually screwed. They're gonna actually provide try and provide some covering fire on that force line. The rest of you guys. You gotta leg it down to that tank. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tank is still firing. Gotta 
quite a lot of HE rounds remaining, enough for the rest of the 10 minutes in the battlefield. Let's bring the tank up. We got part of the squad up here. Third squad joining in. Let's get the platoon HQ down here too. Put him up there by the side. Shit. We're being shelled right now. Oh man, there's smoke in that previous position we were at. I'm glad we moved. That's crazy. Look at all that explosion and smoke. That's awesome. I really think this game is still very graphically pretty. Like, the animations are pretty good, like people getting out of vehicles, jumping in, reloading, shooting. Like, that is all very good. The explosions are awesome. The smoke is awesome. Uh, and honestly, in when you're looking close, like, the objects and people are very detailed. Like, the tanks are very detailed with all the interior structure. And it's just very pretty. And I'm running this game on the highest setting right now. But, like, what actually brings the most atmosphere to this game is the... Um, it's just the, obviously the gameplay, the realism. You you feel that, holy shit, this could be an actual battle. The slow movement, the tanks, the maneuvering, the squads, the platoons. It's all like, this could be a freaking Band of Brothers movie right now. Or like a scene from Band of Brothers. Or anything like that, you know. Okay, we're moving over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First squad's going to have the longest run, but I'm going to put them up here for a... Uh, for a separate mission. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's all I've been saying, old video. <laughs> Let the infantry speak for me instead. Freaking out more German artillery. Well, this squad got down here at least. First squad down and ready. Ready to go. These guys are still pinned. They're broken. They're like, <gasps> we ain't going anywhere, sir. Mount up. You guys still panicking? They're rattled. Come on, guys. Killed off most of the German infantry on the left side. We've suppressed them fully. They're not going anywhere. Feel bad for this squad. Try and link up down there. Leave this whole hole. Our infantry is like seamlessly moving up here, though, pretty nicely. Look at this. Holy shit! We're down with the hedge Oh, look at this fire position. Get behind cover! I was trying to catch the muscle flash. Get him reloading. That is clearing a jammer. He's reloading. He's reloading. Look, he's, he's even taking out the mag. That's awesome. They're tired. I understand that. Sometimes that's what you're going to be. Oh man, four casualties down. Uh, probably since previously, yeah. First squad was down a bit before. Fuck! That's a direct hit. God damn it. First platoon HQ. These are your men down here. It's time you link up with them. Let's go. Still shelling us with something probably off map mortars, I would presume. That's what Jerry's bringing to the table. Now, I can't hold this tank here forever. So you're going to jump off, and we're going to leave the infantry down here, because we need this tank for the assault. Have we lost tracks? Sorry, I had a little bagel delivery there. Um, I'm going to save those for later. Sorry. I'll do a little taste test. 
test. Um, uh, <coughs> third squad. Second tune. This, this tank isn't pinned. Is it? Has it lost something? Radio optics and smoke mortar is a little damaged. The engine's fine. Gyrostab is fine. I don't see it being detracted either, so. Kind of wondering what the fuss is about. Okay, well, it's time for the, uh, the big U.S. charge. Everyone's crossing with third platoon for cover fire. We even have these guys up here. They're fatigued, but they got to keep running. We even have our M10 moving up here to provide covering fire down that way. We got our Sherman moving up too. We have third squad moving up too. Leaving platoon up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm pushing up for it. We're gonna be victorious today, gentlemen. Nice. Coming down this hillside. Very pretty. Very cool indeed. Their squad's walking in. They're exhausted. I understand. They've been running the most, probably. Besides, they're, they're kind of on the edge of the battle. I mean, they're probably not expecting any random German sniper, although I'd be kind of scared of getting shot at. We're going to roll a Sherman right into town. <laughs> We're going to send in some hard-hitting GIs to... Uh, capture this this kind of farm area over here we're sending some infantry down there too we're gonna keep this m10 over there to provide covering fire and we're gonna fight our way up with the infantry and armor we have to secure a perimeter around this section first squad is, is is low in numbers what's up with that have they even split did they do a split squad thing probably not not sure what that is about, actually. This, uh... This, uh, 76 here is still cursed. These guys are still shaking, and I understand that, but I think... They could be glitched or something, but they're in cover behind this tank. At least it's in a position where it can probably fire. Well, whoever isn't, let's go, let's go, let's go! Time to wait for you ladies. Moving up! Pretty sure, uh, first squad wouldn't say that to third squad has been up here. In fire for a long time. Oh shit. Second squad thing is in fire. Now that we're getting up closer with Jerry, obviously we're gonna be taking more more direct fire. But well, we won! Use Army total victory. We got a thousand points, which is I guess the target for the We got the ground secured. Two hundred points for those each, and we got six hundred points for enemy casualties. Let's look at the the overall statistics here. We got one hundred and nine men okay on our side, twenty six killed, eighteen wounded, so that's unfortunate, and we lost one tank. They got forty one okay. We kill one hundred and five Germans, thirty seven men wounded, one tank lost, and four armored vehicles. Let's preview that map. Whoa, Aufklärung. So they were recon, Aufklärung, armored out. So they were like recon in a way. They got Panther here though. It's you don't mess with the Panther. This is a tank crew from that Panther. Look at the casualties around here. This is the third platoon. I want to try and find Supreme HQ. Uh, second company, two company HQ. First platoon. Was it just a company? Maybe they lost their HQ elsewhere. Could have been a tank. How absolutely crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more Comet Mission, Final Blitzkrieg, maybe some snowy ass maps plays in Germany and all that stuff, then uh, let me know and we will do it. I'm so far really enjoying this. And I'm trying to find some sound mods. Perhaps there are some available soon enough. Um, I'm pretty sure they will work for Final Blitzkrieg. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.